We're going to get into ratio and gears, and that goes along with our three-speed switch here. Before you start setting up your ratio and gears, you have to kind of know and understand your battery, your BMS, and your controller. So let's take a look at the battery. What I was told from the manufacturer is it's a 400 amp continuous discharge, 30 amp max charge, and Amorje told me it was 640 amps peak for 10 seconds. There's a sticker on the battery. I can verify some of that. I don't really see the 640 peak part. I'm not sure where they got that, but I trust them on that. I mean, you can go over the continuous on these batteries. You can peak them, and they're saying 10 seconds, so uh, that sounds pretty reasonable. So let's review the BMS parameters. Now, I've set this BMS up based on what I know about the battery. I know it's 400 amps. This is just guys talking to me that I trust are telling me to set 320 for my overcurrent protect. That's the maximum. And that's okay. I'm not limiting myself to 320. Remember in the other video we talked about this. That's where I'm going to start counting the timer down. The 15 second timer. And that 15 seconds is going to take me to 445. Where I got 445 is because my controller... You have to know the controller is limited to 450 line amps. So I figured I didn't want to go right to the uh, actual amperage on that. I'll go uh, a little bit below it, 445 instead of 450. So I've got 15 seconds in this window from 320 amps to 445. That's a lifetime. That's a quarter mile drag race. That's a, that's a long time to be pulling that many amps. I don't think you can pull that many amps for that long. Maybe if you're going up a hill, you could, but here in Florida, as you increase in speed, the amps will go down. So I don't think that's gonna be an issue. 15 seconds I've got in there. And then 445, I made the absolute max. If I go past that for one second, I can go up to 450. So that 450 maximum, the way I read it, if I exceed it for a millisecond, I'll get hit with a short circuit protect delay. So I'm trying to restrict it to these. I'm trying to do this to the best of my understanding, which is all we can do on the BMS. And then the other thing we have to know is the controller. The controller's got a little sticker on it that'll tell you all about it. It'll be in the specs on who you bought it from also or on the website. I've got a far driver here. 450 maximum line amps and 1,000 maximum phase amps. That's my absolute max. And if you don't have a 450 1,000 controller like I do, or 96 volts like I do, it doesn't matter. This uh, will work for any controller, any volts. I'm just using my numbers as examples. You'd have to scale that differently, of course, to match your controller or volts. But yeah, these are just examples. So now I know everything I need to know to start setting up my ratios and gears and my three button selector. There's a million ways to set this up. It's however you want. So what I'll do is I'll just tell you how I want and how I'm gonna set mine up as an example. And when I put this switch and I hook it up to the controller, it recognizes it and I can switch between gears one, two, and three manually. And that's really just different power settings is all it is. I guess mode one, mode two, mode three. Let's start with number three. So if you look down here at ratios and gears, you only have low speed and middle speed. That's one and two. You don't have a third one. The third speed is open. That's what we've set the limit to up here. And I put 425 for line current max and for max phase current, I put 1000. The controller will do 450 and 1000. The reason I put 425 here is I've been shooting through the 450 pretty easy. It's been going up to 480, then 470. So I'm just gonna try 425 here as my max and see if that'll keep me down at 450 and below. I don't wanna go over 450. That's just my decision to not damage the controller. I don't know if it will or not, but it says max 450. So I'm trying to keep everything below there. These are my absolute maxes as far as power in button three. 425 amps line, 1000 amps phase, and 2000 RPM. Somewhere around 100. 15 miles an hour is something faster than I'm gonna do, so. Now buttons one and two, we're gonna set up down here in ratios and gear under low speed and middle speed. My goal is to have button one is like an economy button. Will not restrict me so the bike's really lame, but I wanna use it to get the best range I can while the bike's still bearable to ride. And what I consider bearable to ride, it has to do at least 65 miles an hour, and I don't want to limit my speed. So I'll stick with the 2000 RPM speed limit. Your amps that you've set as max up here in the top I've set 425 amps take that times 40% you get 170 amps so 
I'm just making that up. We'll see how I like 170 amps and make sure I can do 65 miles an hour on it. Button two is what I want to be my primary button that I ride in normally. That's my everyday button. I want to be able to go fast, fast as the bike will go, quick as a bike will go, and not have to worry about any limitations. I don't want to have to count seconds. I don't want to have to think about if I'm overstressing anything. I just want something that's going to keep me below the continuous 400 amps. I'm going to give 85% a try. I think that's uh, the mass says 360 amps i can still come up on that i don't even want to go to 400 actually i'll want to go to the maximum 390 amps but i want to make sure i ride it first with this deal with the inertia of the amp seem to go above what i set it at i want to see if 360 if i do a drag race in button two and make sure i don't go over 400 i don't want any limitations on button two and then button three that's going to be of course what i limit it to up top i want that just to be my full-on everything open button where i don't damage the bms that's my all-in power that's 425 but the controller is not limited to the 400. So on the controller, we're good, but the battery's limited to 400. I need to realize when I'm in button three that I've only got 15 seconds above 400 into that controller's 450, and 15 seconds is my limit. So I actually have to think about it when I'm in button three. I can't just stab the throttle and hold 450 amps all the time. But I've ridden the bike enough now that I'm realizing that the amps come down quite quick. Even on a drag race, they drop down quick as RPM builds. So I don't see being anywhere near 450 or even 400 after 15 seconds. So I think 15 seconds is a safe time limit. After 15 seconds, I'm going to be down around 290, 300, somewhere in there. So yeah, let's go do some riding, see how we like our buttons, see if they meet our goals, and then we'll come back and make some adjustments. Number one button on 45%. It's like eco. I have to get somewhere. I put it in that. I know I should have more range. Now I put it in eco mode for my wife to drive it. She loves the bike. I can give it the gas. I mean, it's faster than any uh, moped or something, but I don't know. I would say in button one right now, uh, even a small motorcycle could outrun me. Maybe not a moped. And number two is just what I'm in now. It's my regular driving button. 80% so I don't exceed anything. It's plenty, plenty fast for me. But it's just nice to cruise around on. It's got a nice smooth, no noise. I've had all these mad dogs in the garage in my Coleman mini bike. You can imagine how unbearable that bike is. It's just so much more solid. Such a more stable feel, more solid. I've got it set to go up to 445 amps in button three. I have to be cognizant of that or I will get an overcurrent protected, I'm sure. And those Mad Dog 150s go about, you know, 50, 52 miles an hour, somewhere in there. It's just crazy. These electric bikes, I mean, the quality is just, it's, man, it feels like you're on something made in the best parts of Japan, I don't know. It's just so much more solid, such a more stable feel, more solid, and just uh, how fast it is, you know. But this damn Chinese scooter, it's something else. It's pretty freaking sketchy. Maybe it was only designed for a 50cc. I thought it was a little bit slow in button one. I think I was pulling 168 amps, so I'm just making this up. I'm going to go with 200 amps. 200 amps divided by 425, the new number, I come out with 47%. So I'm going to bump that up to 47%. On button two, remember I had it on 320 something, but I actually want to be able to run button two up to 400 amps forever because that's what the battery is rated for. So I won't over stress the battery and I'll still have good power in button two. It'll be fast. So I'm going to bring this to 94% and that makes it about 390 amps, almost 400 amps. Something you have to keep in mind, the phase amps, even in the different gears, are not only restricted by the gear, if you like to do so, but they're further restricted by your ratio in speed again. All right, so let's take Eco, for example, my button one. In ratio and gears, I decided to run 47%. I don't want to be limited when I'm in Eco to speed. I'm just trying to save power on the battery. I don't want to limit the speed, though. I'd, I'd just as soon go as fast as I can. As a matter of fact, I want to definitely go 65 miles an hour. I don't want to go slower than that. And if I can't make 65 miles an hour in eco, I will probably bump this number up till I can. 
because even in eco i want to be able to ride on the highway and stuff so not wanting to limit top end speed my natural reaction is to put 100 percent on the phase amps 2000 for the rpm 2000 for the rpm is fine i'm not going to get there on 50 percent power so let's say i have this on 100 percent to do 65 wheel speed calculator says i need to be around 1138 rpm so here's an 1125 that's pretty close so at 1125 i'm telling it to limit me to 70 percent phase amps in ratio and speed and that's 70 percent of a thousand phase amps down in ratio and gears i've given it a hundred percent so i'm saying the same thing i'm limiting it to 70 percent of 1000 which is 700 so in ratios and gears i've limited my phase amps to 700 phase amps in button one 700 is way too high i'm only pulling 50 percent line amps during this i'm never going to get to 700 i'm never going to get close to it in gear one let's try 50 percent now I've limited the phase ratio to 50%, and that's 50% of the 70% at 1125. And so 70%. That's 700 amps times 50% is 350 amps. So now I've limited my phase amps to 350 in button one at 65 miles an hour. And this will be easier if I just show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to limit. This audio got messed up, so let me dub in here some sound and tell you what I'm doing. I've set everything at 100% in ratios and speed. So I'm basically not using ratio and speed for this button one test. And that means I'm limited to 1,000 amps. But down in low speed phase ratio, I limited it to 30%. So that should limit me to 300 amps. That's 30% of 1,000 because I put 1,000 in the top and everything's 100%. So I'm limited to 30% of 1,300 amps, I should be able to take off full throttle and button one and not exceed 300 amps. Now I've also set low speed line ratio at 100%. I don't want to limit my line amps at all. I want all the line amps coming in. I'm going to purely limit it by phase amps just to show that the ratios and speed do have an effect. So I've opened up line amps to 100 but i won't be able to get there because i can't even do over 300 phase amps so i'm not going to get that many line amps but i just want to show that the line amps are not my limiting feature here all right here i take off and i'm 170 we're talking about phase amps here 250 phase amps 247 i'm not even getting to 300 and that's at the 30 percent limit down there next i'm going to leave the 30 percent phase limit in button one but i'm going to reduce the ratio in speeds to 50 percent and that should lower my phase amps these ratios in speed to 50 percent all the way across and i should not be able to exceed 150 phase amps because i started with a thousand and right now i'm limiting it to 500 amps across the board as 50 percent then i'm further limiting that 50 percent to 30 percent so 30% of 500, I think that's 150. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. And I'm just basically trying to prove that ratios and speed also limits what you set down here under low speed phase ratio and ratio and gears. And let's go to the graph page and prove that. We'll take off. I should not be able to exceed 150. And of course, it's even slower. Ah, I got a phase current of 200 and it spiked up there. But it is pretty much hanging out at 130 and below but it did spike up higher initially let off the throttle i'll give it some throttle yeah i think it is holding it we'll try that again i'm surprised it allowed me that initial spike so these settings i found that we put in here they're pretty general i was exceeding my 450 amps when i had 450 and there's my max i think the controller has a little more leeway than we do with this program here we go 163, 170, 224 again, so it spiked. So it's definitely slower than it was before and it's definitely limiting it more, but not to the exact numbers we're calculating. But I think we did prove that in ratio and gears, whatever you put in the low speed phase ratio is limited not only by what you put up here as your max phase, but also by your ratios and speed. So keep that in mind. Same thing for gear two. I'm 94%. So I'll just go ahead and I'm making this up now. So we'll go 94% in gear two. All right, I've got all the settings back to normal for button one. I'm at 47%. Yeah, 47% feels a lot better than 40 did. It's got a little more pep to it. 
a little more enjoyable to ride, obviously. And I want to make sure I can do 65 miles an hour in 47%. And I've got 47% on both line and phase in ratio in gears. If I can do 65 miles an hour, I like this setting. Yeah, 67, 68, 70. Oh yeah, it's plenty fast. That is not an issue at all. To do 65 in traffic, you have to have something that goes faster than 65, obviously. If you just do 65, it takes forever to get there. If you want to get to 65 quick and drive in traffic, you're going to need uh, something that goes 70, 75. That's about what I'm doing in button one. So I'm happy with 47%. All right, so on button two, so I put that at 94%. That should be 399 line amps right at the max. And I want to make sure I don't exceed those line amps. If I do, just for a little bit. I know this thing is not exact what you put in. I want to be able to drive around a button two and not think about anything and not try to worry about my amps and everything. So I want to give it a good takeoff. This is the most uphill portion I can find in Florida. We're going to use that. And I want to see what those amps go up to. Looks like I exceeded them. They should be coming on down now, but I may have to lower that back down for button two. And then the same thing in button three. I'm trying 425 line amps now for my max in button three. So I want to see what it spikes to. And hopefully I don't go over 450 line amps. I can't tell while I'm riding, but we'll have to check it out. Yeah, I think my ratios and gears are pretty well set up. I like these settings. I think I'm going to keep them. That bike is still fast, plenty fun, and eco, which I kind of like. Number two feels just like number three to me. I'll have to look at the data later and see if I've even limited it. Just keep on going up to 100, no problem. But uh, it's pretty scary at 90. There's a guy trying to pass, gonna try to kill me. Look at this. Typical. Well, I got a bright light too. At nighttime, people give me the high beam flash. Yeah, I was at 101 volts. Good charge on that battery, and it went to 430. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, 470, 475, 483, 4. Yeah, so it's still spiking over. I guess there's no avoiding that still jumping way over what I put in there for a limit but I like these settings I guess I'll keep them I'm obviously not in that 480 window for very long I just don't know if it's bad for the far driver when it says a max of 450 and I don't know how the far driver is letting it do it so that stuff's confusing to me and you see the mini bike's gone I sold that but I got this next project it's gonna be the mid drive I'm just rebuilding forks and things like that it's gonna be epic <laughs> 